send that in. Now, wow, General. I can't believe that you stay for a whole month in this town without asking after me. The one and only Lady Betty. <laughs> Let me come, 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 come. Come, give me a hug, give me a hug. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> Look, don't think it like that. I have been very busy, and business has been up and down. Up and down indeed. After I've given you a sweet girl to marry, business has suddenly become up and down. By the way, you promised me that I'll never go broke. You can never be broke as long as I am alive and I'm in this town. Yeah? You can never be broke. That is impossible. Wondered. The general. Hmm. The one and only general. My sweet lady. <laughs> something. Hey, do you know what? Enjoy yourself. Insult me, I don't blame you at all. I don't blame you. If the he goat that I married, that I call my husband, did not unzip his trousers to let you trespass, you would not have the temerity to stand in front of me and insult me. As for you, Harrison, I don't know what you're looking for. What are you looking for in an overused sword menopause? How old are you? <laughs> Did you slap her? We just washed her and salt me. Do you see? Now do that again. Mm. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. 
She refused. Uh, don't worry. She will buy you chocolates tomorrow, okay? All right. It's my dear Listen. Mm -hmm. It doesn't come. You must stop this, your childish attitude. You must stop. Be better for the time gone. Okay. Sure. <laughs> you could 
I'll stop eating all the sugar and things. Darling, please, please, please don't go pushing to me about cholesterol, diabetes, and fat, and so on and so forth. It's all right. Time will tell. Whatever. How is your father? He's fine. He sends his regards. Gosh, I'm hungry. I'm famished. Is dinner ready yet? Mayan! Mayan! I think uh, she's going to get something to judge. I hope she's prepared dinner. Let me check. I'm coming. I'll join you guys. Mayan, you can never tell with her. This minute she's as jolly, jolly like an angel. The next minute she's as jealous like a widow. She's so unpredictable. Unpredictable like the weather in the rainy season. Dad, I saw that thing that you were wrong. That you made a mistake in marrying this girl. She, she, she's dead too young for you. Oh, definitely young, but uh, she's, she's ideal for me. Ideal, Dad? <laughs> A woman that is married that will go out this morning, at least I've seen her for over seven hours. She will go out and forget that her husband and child will eat dinner. And you call that woman a deal? A woman who entrusts her cooking in a house help. Come on, Dad. Come on. George, you will not understand unless you get to my age. Unless you've lost a woman whom you've loved for over 35 years. Unless you are a widower for over 10 years. Unless you crave for companionship. And when you get it, when you get it, and you get a vibrant, pretty, vivacious lady like Diane, so full of life, in spite of her fiery temper. So enchanting, in spite of her youthful exuberance. You will not understand. No, 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 you will not understand. Big man for school. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, my dear. All right, now. No fighting. Right. No fighting. Darling, I thought I had enough cash with me, but I didn't have. So you have to go and pick up this money yourself. What is this? Didn't I tell you what I wanted to do with the money? Of course you did. That was why I wrote that amount of money for you. What amount are you talking about, Harrison? What is 250,000 Naira going to buy for me from the market? 250,000 Naira to buy lace material, a pair of shoes and, and a handbag? Just for a wedding? Is the money so valueless? Oh yes, Harrison. The money is so valueless. You should go to the market yourself and hear this market woman call prizes on your goods. Dara, I don't think it is that bad. You don't think it's that bad? See, this was why I wanted to do business from the outset. I wanted to do my own business so I don't have to bother you over little things. But you refused. Eh, eh, how can my beautiful wife be, be, be running around all in the name of business? Now you no longer remember your wife is beautiful. Who has needs to be met to remain beautiful for you? Why are you men so tight-fisted when it comes to your wives? Why? It is that old, old harlot you, 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 you Please, 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 please. I don't want to start today with such stupid topics. The truth is always bitter, Harrison. That's why you need to hear it.
buy the material now. You, 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 you'll stand beside me with this your white beer beer and say, oh darling, you look nice, you look lovely. <laughs> you know, I always say the truth because I see it like that. It's the truth speaker. <laughs> oh, take your goodbye kiss. Mm. Mm. Have a nice day now, Have a dear. good day. Uh, darling, can I have another check, please? Harrison. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. One of the hazards of driving, isn't it? Do you have a spare? Sorry? I said, do you have a spare tire in your boot? Even if I have a spare tire, I don't know how to change these things. I've never done it before. Hardly does any woman know. Besides, if you do, I wouldn't allow you to do it yourself. That would be very heartless of me. Now, can I see your boot? Where's your wheel spanner? I don't know. I, I told you I've never done this thing before. Huh? What would, what would this say I choose, choose today of all days to go flat for Christ's sake? Relax, relax. Is? You don't need to get yourself worked up, okay? Getting yourself worked up will give you wrinkles. And a wrinkle on this pretty face would be like an oil stain on white satin. So relax. I'll take care of it. Can I have your key? All right. Ah. Uh, Better still, why don't you come in and, you know, sit down, just under the shade, you don't need the sun. Okay, the sun will reduce the charm in your smile. So I'll have your bags, and I'll put it in your car. So you can now have your shade. Okay, um, what can I get you to chill your angry mood? Anything. I mean, soft drink. Soft drink. Okay. And this to keep you company. Okay. You see, an idle mind breeds an unhappy face and you don't need one. So I'll get you your soft drink.
Okay, you have that when I go do the job. I really don't know how to thank you. Well, I'll tell you how. Why don't you just hop into your car, drive off, and don't say a word? <laughs> no, honestly, I'm grateful. You're grateful? Okay. I'm Newton. I'm Newton. Yeah, nice name you have there, grateful. <laughs> That's so funny. I, I think you should be a comedian, actually, instead of doing the kind of business you do. Um, anyway. I miss... <coughs> My name is Diane. Okay. Yes, thank you so much for everything. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, thank you for the help, the, the shade from the sun, the cold drink, and your hook. I actually found it very interesting. Really? Then you can have it. I can? Yes. No, look, I, can, I don't mind paying for it. I do mind. Don't pay. Have the look. Can I get your number? Okay, uh, I'll give you my card. Okay. Can I give you mine? The number is 080 3316173290. 080 3316172129. Okay. All right. Th thanks a lot, yeah. All right. Thanks for the book. And of course, uh, that book was on uh, Evergreen Gifts. Oh, okay. That's the name of your company. Yes. Oh. Please do come again. Okay. Well, hey. Hello, Mr. Newton. Yeah, I just want to know how you're doing and find out if you reached home safely and on time too. Oh yes, oh yes, I got home safely. Thank you so much for your concern and help this afternoon. I hope you didn't have another flat tire on your way back home. <laughs> I'm very grateful. Okay then, speak to you some other time. Bye. Okay then, alright, thanks a lot once again. Okay, bye-bye. Newton, what kind of name is that? Please not me a thing. It is Newton. N-E-W-T-O-N. Newton. Ah, Newton. It is an uncommon name. Was that the guy who said I helped you reach at times? Oh, yes. He's so funny. Mm. Ah. What does he want from you now? Mm. He just wanted to make sure I got him safely, that's all. That's all? Hmm? Mike, you're still cutting the vegetables. Yes, ma'am. Hurry up with it now.
Yeah, I just want to know how you're doing and find out if you reached home safely and on time too. I hope you didn't have another flat tire on your way back home. Okay then, speak to you some other time. Bye. John, my dear, ever since that day, I found myself obsessed with thoughts about him. I think about him every minute. He's always on my mind. I, I dream about him every day and every night. I don't understand it. Have you spoken with him since then? I mean, have you called him? I think I'm in love with him. Are you mad? Is something wrong with you? But there is no other explanation to it, Joy. If I'm not in love with him, why is he always on my mind? Why, why do I always think about him? Will you stop that? Have you forgotten you are a married woman? Joy, my sister. Love is an emotional thing. Marital status cannot check it or curtail it. I'm in love with this guy. I know it. I can feel it. My mind tells me so. Story. Unavailable, switched off. Joy, what do I do? Don't do anything. Forget that guy. I can't. I can't forget him. I, I find it difficult to, to forget him. We'll soon be back. Or oh, do you want to buy anything? Um, no, no. Oh. Can I wait for him, please? If you want. bad or something. I've been trying to call him and I can't get through to him. Maybe it's bad now. Abby?
God. Three o'clock. One hour past Dixon's closing time. Well, let him wait. It won't kill him. I must see Newton today. Going. Can I leave a note for him? You want to leave a note for him? Yes. Make sure he gets this note. Oh, just of these days, going about chasing men. Shall you get this as soon as you come back? must have read the note by now. 
I wonder why he hasn't called me yet. I just hope that fool of a sales girl didn't forget to give him the note. Make sure of the number you're calling before dialing? Nonsense! Can you imagine? Calling my number and asking me who this is. Oh, Newton. Newton. Hi, Joy. Mm -hmm. mm. We're home. We're just we're lounging outside. Um, Joy, come. We'll speak tomorrow. Huh? Yeah. Good night. Bye. I've been restless and jumpy as if you're expecting a call that is not coming through. And so what if I am? Don't I have a right to be? Well, I'm sorry for keeping you waiting and not seeing you yesterday. Are you just going to stand there? Won't you come inside? Come inside. Okay. Yeah. So. So. Well, I'm sorry I'll not accept your sorry until the sorry is properly said. Maybe I need a lesson or two on how to say I'm sorry. A genuine apology from the heart should be accompanied with a kiss. A kiss? You mean I should kiss you? Yes. That is if you're really sorry. But... You belong to another man. I mean, you're married or... Aren't you? Who says I am? And what proves I am? I'm not married to any other man. Okay. So... What are we waiting for? Come here. <laughs> I love you, Newton. Please don't leave me. I'm staying. should promise you he will never leave you. I was dreaming, right? Are you asking me?
that way. And sweetie, I just want to pick up something, okay? Mommy won't be long, alright? He did not come back to the shop yesterday. He did not? Yes. I don't know his house, so. Actually, John, John. Uh, you see, there's something very important. I came here, yeah? It's, there's a kind of emergency. And if I don't give him the message today, something terrible will happen. Please. Uh, but he doesn't like strangers visiting his house. And besides, he's sick. He's sick? I know, but this is different. Yeah? There's an emergency, please. I hope it's as important as you said. Of course it's important now. I'm not joking. Okay, wait. Thank you. Next time. Did you hear me? Yes, mom. And what do you say? I'm sorry, mom. Good boy. Now come down and go to the passenger side. Hurry up.
I know her. You know her? Say you like her. What is you know her? Truly, I know her. She's my father's wife. I wonder what she's doing here. Your father's wife. This young girl. How can? Good. I know you. You like that girl. Have you? Let's go. And who are you, if I may ask? Well, answer my question first and foremost. Shut up. I asked you a question and you are cross-examining me. Are you stupid? Um, my name is Diane. Your name is what? Diane. Morning. A girl, Newton. Oh. A girl. What's her name? Don't you know the girl you gave appointment for this morning? Appointment? I didn't give anyone any appointment. Oh. What did she say her name is? She said her name is uh, uh, yeah, whatever, I don't know. I don't know anyone by that name. Oh, Lena. Okay, let her in. I should do what? Let her in. If you don't know her, and you didn't give her appointment. Why do you want to see her face? What for? She could let her in. She could just be anyone important. Just let her in. I'm 
sorry. See, I have been here when I was just recovering. The doctor said you shouldn't talk too much, so close your mouth. Um, <clears throat> well, I I went to your shop and your girl told me about your ill health. I'm really sorry about it. She was the one I gave me a house address as well. That's very good for me. We met her at the shop. Now she's in your house. What is she doing in your house? Anyway, I don't have your time. Just hurry up. Come and eat and take your drugs. As for you, you. If I handle you, hmm? it go better make trailer jam you. Go see me. Sorry about your ill health, Newton. I have to leave that. It's alright then. Uh, I'll see you to the door. Prostitute. Imagine chasing a man to his house without invitation. Hi. But I fuck up. I for show this girl my talent. Forgive and take away. Anyway, let it be. Let me see her legs again in this house. I swear. I go smash this her useless car. Hi. She wants to destroy what I have labored and suffered for three years to build. I go kill her. Get to the U.S. Ambassador's cocktail this evening at six. I'll be back at five. U.S. Ambassador's cocktail? I thought it was tomorrow. You have forgotten. That invitation card has been lying in this house for the past three weeks. Uh, I was going to spend the day with my father. Well, you can spend tomorrow with your father. Must we attend? What do you mean by that? Harrison, I don't have to go. Nobody will miss me. Nobody will notice my absence. Look, sometimes when you speak, I feel like taking a cane and giving you some strokes. You, you, you talk like a, like, a, like, like a child. Which you are anyway. Diane, let me be. Let me be the child. Diane, come here. I have told you several times that you are my wife. A woman is as important and as dignified as her husband. What he is, 
she represents. You are the wife of retired General Harrison Fernandez, ex-chief of Army staff and chief executive of Fana Airlines. You must play that role as his wife. Five o'clock. And I've told you so many times I'm not interested in all those parties. Nothing ever happens apart from big laughter and shaking of hands. I'm not going to go. I am not going for that party. I will not go. How is it I'm not going to go? Huh? What is it? So because I'm your wife, I must attend all the parties? I'm not going. Love is an emotional chemistry that can explode without logical reason. I love you too. You do? Yes. Do you love me? I love you.
I am. Stop. Is everything all right? Yes, sir. What of your madam? She's not yet back, sir. Not yet back? Yes, sir. So she defied me and went to her father's house. What of Dixon? He's not yet back from school, sir. Uh, at five o'clock? Maybe she went to pick him from school and drove him straight to her father's house. She can see what you do to me, girly I'm not gonna see it all on the telly But I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say, hear me Now hey lady, you grab me nuts With your crazy attitude, make me wanna say Oh my God, but you can never say that, cha When you know it's your fault or the girl where you love Slack. I've seen all there is for me to see For now I know, now I know Diane, and um, she's not here, Ella. Have you seen her here? Ella, I hope there's no problem. What's the problem? When did she live here? Ella, she has not been here. I've been indoors since morning. You mean you have not seen her today? Not at all. I've been indoors, Ella. All right. Ella. 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 Come now, let us talk. This the hand gone to. Anyway, that is her own problem. I told this man that this girl is too young to marry, but he refused. Now this is what is happening. Yes, sir. This is cool. Can see you're dressed up to leave, my lady. Give me your ears. I say there's one time and one time only. But these things I say to you, they never occur to me. That all this time you were loving me, I was loving someone else. I think girl is unfair to you. But if I can turn by the hands of time, I swear to God, I'ma think you'll be my wife. 
then I say my wife, girl, I do you Hey, yeah. Yeah, something I saw him kissing you last night My eyes turned to red, I wanted to fight But we can still make it together if you want Feel the love that will last us forever We've been friends and we can go a little further this time A picture of the road, we will never ever worry about being lonely no more I began my lady, no no say I don't call love for you, my lady The evil no say I'll never tell you, but not true what this be Lately I realize that I wasted so many days That all this time you were loving me, I were loving someone else I be girl, it's unfair to you Oh, you know, before I don't talk to my And I just swear I'ma take care of my girl And when I see my girl, got I do me look oh, oh. My eyes turn to red, I want to fight But we can still make it together if we want to Feel the love that will last us forever We've been friends and we can go a little further this time of the road, we will never ever worry about being lonely no more What you not gonna do, to show you that I love you I know say I don't mess up, but papa, but baby I cannot deny that without you I'm nobody and I Where I go go, if I don't fit carry you along It's my boy there. Now nah, one picking the inside. Look, look, look. My boy is not a picking. Anyway, is he there anyway? Uh, he's sleeping inside my office. Something good to eat, eh?
forget the U.S. Ambassador's cocktail this evening at 6. I'll be back at 5. U.S. Ambassador's cocktail? I thought it was tomorrow. You have forgotten. That invitation card has been lying in this house for the past three weeks. Uh, I was going to spend the day with my father. Well, you can spend tomorrow with your father. Must we attend? What do you mean by that? Harrison, I don't have to go. Nobody will miss me. Nobody will notice my absence. Look, sometimes when you speak, I feel like taking a cane and giving you some strokes. You, you, you talk like a, like, a, like, like a child. Which you are anyway. Diane, let me be. Let me be the child. Diane, come here. I have told you several times that you are my wife. A woman is as important and as dignified as her husband. What he is, she represents. You are the wife of retired General Harrison Fernandez, ex-chief of Army Staff and chief executive of FANA Airlines. You must play that role as his wife. Five o'clock. And I've told you so many times I'm not interested in all those parties. <clears throat> Nothing ever happens apart from big laughter and shaking of hands. I'm not going to go. I am not going for that party. I will not go. Harrison, I'm not going to go. Huh? What is it? So because I'm your wife, I must attend all the parties? I'm not going. Sorry if I caused any problem between you and your girlfriend. It's okay. Tracy's just a multi It's okay. God, she's so she's so barbaric and uncivilized. I really don't think you should be hanging around such people. I understand. It's okay. It's all of this. I like it. This is nice. You're welcome. I just hope you find them useful. Are you kidding? Of course I find them useful. Hello. 
Newton, I love you. And I, I fell in love with you from the, from the very first day we met. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Love is an emotional chemistry that can explode without logical reason. I love you too. You do? Yes. Do you love me? I love you. Is everything all right? Yes, sir. What of your madam? She's not yet back, sir. Not yet back? Yes, sir. So she defied me and went to her father's house. What of Dixon? He's not yet back from school, sir. At five o'clock? Maybe she went to pick him from school and drove him straight to her father's house. Uh, you're welcome. Where is Diane? Um, she's not here, Ella. Have you seen her here? Ella, I hope there's no problem. What's the problem? When did she live here? Ella, she has not been here. I've been indoors since morning. You mean you have not seen her today? No, not at all. I've been indoors, Ella. All right. Ella. 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 
the lock. Come now, let us talk. Where has this day and gone to? Anyway, that is her own problem. I told this man that this girl is too young to marry, but he refused. Now, this is what is happening. Yes, sir. This is cool. My boy there. Now one picking the inside. Look, look, look. My boy is not a picking. Anyway, is he there anyway? Uh, he's sleeping inside my office. Come on, come on. Something good to eat, eh?
are you and what's the blooming hell are you doing with that phone? shares my man with me. I said it right from the onset that you are nothing but a cheap whore. That's what you are. Look, don't insult me, okay? What else could you be? Just because a man offered you help. Now you're chasing him all over the places, throwing your cheap HIV and blood flu infested body at him. Me? Yes. <laughs> You're the person who's HIV infected. You're the person who's badly infected. Barbaric animal. Me? Barbaric animal? Yes! Hey! I will show you how barbaric I am today. Oh my God! Ah! Jesus Christ! Don't forget the U.S. Ambassador's cocktail this evening at 6. I 
be back at five. U.S. Ambassador's cocktail? I thought it was tomorrow. You have forgotten. That invitation card has been lying in this house for the past three weeks. Ah. I was going to spend the day with my father. Well, you can spend tomorrow with your father. Must we attend? What do you mean by that? Harrison, I don't have to go. Nobody will miss me. Nobody will notice my absence. Look, sometimes when you speak, I feel like taking a cane and giving you some strokes. You, you, you talk like a, like, a, like, like a child. Which you are anyway. Diane, let me be. Let me be the child. Diane, come here. I have told you several times that you are my wife. A woman is as important and as dignified as her husband. What he is, she represents. You are the wife of retired General Harrison Fernandez, ex-chief of Army staff and chief executive of Fana Airlines. You must play that role as his wife. Five o'clock. And I've told you so many times I'm not interested in all these parties. Nothing ever happens apart from big laughter and shaking of hands. I'm not going to go. I am not going for that party. I will not go. Harrison, I'm not going to go. Huh? What is it? So because I'm your wife, I must attend all the parties? I'm not going. Sorry if I caused any problem between you and your girlfriend. It's okay. Tracy's just a uh, It's okay. God, she's so she's so barbaric and uncivilized. I really don't think you should be hanging around such people. I understand. It's okay. It's all of this. I like it. This is nice. You're welcome. I just hope you find them useful. Are you kidding? Of course I find them useful. Hello. <coughs> Newton, I love you. And I, I think 
fell in love with you from the, from the very first day we met. is an emotional chemistry that can explode without logical reason. I love you too. You do? Yes. Do you love me? I love you. Mayan, is everything all right? Yes, sir. What of your madam? She's not yet back, sir. Not yet back? Yes, sir. So she defied me and went to her father's house. What of Dixon? He's not yet back from school, sir. At five o'clock? Maybe she went to pick him from school and drove him straight to her father's house. Uh, you're welcome. Where is Diana? Um, she's not here, Ella. Have you seen her here? Ella, I hope there's no problem. What's the problem? When did she live here? Ella, she has not been here. I've been indoors since morning. You mean you have not seen her today? Not at all. I've been indoors, Ella. All right. Ella. 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 Hello, come now, let us talk.
Where has this Diane gone to? Anyway, that is her own problem. I told this man that this girl is too young to marry, but he refused. Now this is what is happening. Where to, sir? This is cool. My boy there. Now nah, one picking there inside. Look, look, look. My boy is not a picking. Anyway, is he there anyway? Uh, he's sleeping inside my office. Come on, come on. Something good to eat, eh?
you and what the blooming hell are you doing with that phone? shares my man with me. I said it right from the onset that you are nothing but a cheap whore. That's what you are. Look, don't insult him, okay? What else could you be? Just because a man offered you help. Now you're chasing him all over the places, throwing your cheap HIV and blood flu infested body at him. Me? Yes. <laughs> You're the person who's HIV infected. You're the person who's badly infected. Barbaric animal. Me. Barbaric animal. Yes. Hey. I will show you how barbaric I am today. Come on, get up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Innocent girl being kept captive for hours, and they used her car to go and rob with her inside. Yes, okay, Commissioner. Okay, yes, all right, with speed. I will, uh, I will, I will send the, the, the documents to the vehicles to, to, to you. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, Dad. Uh -huh. Hi, Dad. Yes, uh, John. Did you see what these bandits, these hoodlums, did to my, to, to, to my lovely wife? They, they, they almost made me a, a widower for a second time. God forbid. Blood of Jesus, darling. It is not our portion. Amen. Amen. Yes. Uh -huh. George, I called you because I wanted to let you know that the business uh, with the end
And a cheap prostitute, but you don't know that. You don't know what is good for yourself. I'll finish you up, I swear. I don't kill you, you don't die. I put this door on a whole man. Pussy tester from one woman to another. I could have walked kill you. I could have walked. You that doesn't know. See, eh? you don't die, I could kill you. I will finish you. Idiot. Oh. I'm gonna suffer. I'm gonna suffer from this boy and. Uh, I'm not going to leave him. I'm not going to leave him. This boy must pay. He must pay. I don't suffer. I don't suffer. I don't suffer for this boy, Andrew. Uh -uh. I, I want to commend you on your maturity. My maturity? Yeah. I really appreciate. I mean, some idiot would have gone rattling on and on. Thanks. Thank you so much. George, you see, I... I pay back favors and I owe you one. I'd like to give you 500,000 Naira to add to your business. Please don't say no. <laughs> Diane. Diane, you think you owe me a favor and you want to pay me back with 500,000? Well, I quite appreciate your kind gesture, but I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> George, come on. Just see it as my widow's might contribution to the growth of your business. Please. Diane, I will not accept money from you. But if you're insisting on paying back your favor, then all I require from me is to mend your ways and stop doing the things that will increase my father's blood pressure. And marriage is a sacred institution that should not be defied with infidelity. Okay? animal slapped me and then she broke a bottle and wanted to stab me with the bottle. Hey, go. Diane, huh? we do not know the value of love until we lose it. Millions of girls out there are ready and willing to be in your position. But in your own kitchen. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. I forgot you were Miss Moralist. This is why I don't like telling you certain things. Please keep your philosophies inside your back.
Okay. Me, I'm fine. We... <laughs> uh, listen, um, I, I, can you meet me at a restaurant this evening? I'd like to give you a treat. Huh? <laughs> oh, what happened on earth? I said you are my heaven on earth. Darling! Darling! Uh, Papa? Okay, Papa. Yes, Papa. Uh, okay, Papa. I will, I'll speak to you later, Papa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hold on. Bye bye. There's no name they won't generate. I mean, some say baby, honey, sugar. And now what do I hear? Papa. <laughs> Papa. in the car. Yeah, but my wife said, okay, no arrest yet. Oh, I will be traveling with the 12.30 flight. Oh, latest Friday. Okay, when I come back, we'll beat. Thank you very much. Can, can you imagine? What happened? This place, they are fools, you know. The, the commissioner was just telling me that uh, from preliminary reports that there was no armed um, robbery incident on that day on the street. Uh, I wonder if it was uh, ghost robbers that uh, confronted him. I wonder. They're lazy fools. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, what did I want to tell you?
shiny to it. Love is an understatement compared to what I feel for you. You know, now that my dad is not around, I'm free. I'm free to do whatever I want to do without any inhibitions. I want to go wild with you. I want to, I want to let my hair down. I want to go to the beach. I want to party. You know, I'm free to do whatever. Really? I want to go to the club tonight. You want to go to the club? I feel like dancing. Okay. And now your father is not around. Can I visit you so I can know your place? <clears throat> Newton. Look, my dad keeps check on me. You know, I mean, I mean, he, he, he watches over me like he's a pain in the ass. He's a real killjoy. I mean, he gets all the maids, the, the gate man to, to watch over me. He gets them to monitor my movements, monitor whatever I do, or monitor whoever I, I see, people that come to visit me. I mean, how can I, you know, how can we have an affair and I, I won't know your place? I mean, it's unheard of. Hello, lovebirds. I guess you guys are having a swell time here. And I hope the old general knows what you're up to. Was she talking to you? Of course she was talking to you and not me. Me? Yes. I've not seen a woman before in my life. to bed? Yes, madam. Good. I'll be going for night ritual much later. I'll be back in the morning. I want you to keep an eye on Dixon and take very good care of him. Did you hear me? Yes, madam. Good. You can go back to the kitchen. Madam? What's that? The Bible for the night vision. Did I tell you I was going for my vigilina? My friend, will you get back into Since Oga travel, eh? She hardly stays at home. Why now? Is it only that one? She comes home very late mm -hmm. and even dresses anyhow. Why? Well, lie. Sometimes I suspect Madame is cheating Oga. Yes. Cheating on Oga? Yes. How? <laughs> By having another bubble outside. Mm -hmm. 
Nayunko. Don't you see the age difference? I don't think Oga can satisfy her. Hey! Oga can not satisfy. Is that why she goes outside to gain satisfaction? Eh? Now you talk more me. I know here. I'm going inside to look after the poor boy. Ah, okay. Good man. All of them the same. This is what. I'll go straight to the point. My name is George. George Fernandez. Diane Fernandez, who you have been having a romp with, is my stepmother, my father's wife. JC, who happens to live in the same compound with you, is my fiancé, so I come here from time to time. I happen to have been around the day Diane and your girl were involved in a show of shame. That's why I called her this place. I came to talk to you because I discovered that you may not have known that Diane is married. I not tell my father, and I won't tell him yet. Because I know his temper. He's a third general in the army. He does not condone rubbish. If he finds out, he will kill you straight on. That very fine. <laughs> hey. It takes two to tango, no doubt. In the end, do not squat and open his lap. No foul, do not mount it. That's a proverb. Count your teeth using your thumb. 